Okay, let's work out the following spring problem. Let's say we have a frictionless table and we have a spring uh, attached to the wall. And now we're gonna put a block on the spring. We're gonna compress it, a distance x, and then we're gonna let it go. The spring will, of course, push the block back out and the block will take off along the frictionless table. And let's see if we can calculate what v is equal to. What's the speed of that block as it heads off? And we'll give you some givens here. The spring value K is 1500 newtons per meter. The mass of the block is one kilogram. And the distance that we compress that spring is three centimeters. Okay, so this is a conservation of energy problem. We need to write down conservation of energy, which is just EI equals EF. And then there's a bunch of terms in here, right? So the initial position is when the spring is compressed. The final position is when it is fully released. In the initial position, the block is not moving, okay? It is all potential energy of the spring, and we know what that is, one-half kx squared. When the spring releases, it goes back to its rest length, so there's no compression of the spring anymore. So the only energy is kinetic energy of the block, which is just one-half mv squared. And now we can solve this thing for uh, v rather easily. Multiply by so it, both sides by two, that gets rid of the half. I can divide by m, solve for v, I get kx squared divided by m square rooted. v is square root k over m times x, right? When I have x squared and I take the square root, I can pull it out. Now, later on, you're going to learn that square root of k over m is something very important in harmonic oscillation. It's something called omega, okay, the angular frequency of that system. But for right now, we'll just leave it as this. Now we can plug in some numbers, right? We've got the square root of k, which we said was 1,500. m is just 1. And then this is multiplying x, 3 centimeters, but in SI units. That's 0 0.03, okay? And so now you can run this in your calculator. What do we get? Square root of 1,500 is 38.7. I'm gonna multiply by 0 0.03, and I get 1.16 meters per second, okay? Hopefully that's clear. Cheers.